Well, hello, my friends. In this video, we're going to be diving into chapter 15 of my uh, playlist series book on my life after I seen God. And we're going to be talking about a mission trip that God sent me on with the assistance of five pastors that were shepherding me through the One Heart Ranch Ministries. We're going to get started right now. Why don't you come and join me on this trip? All right, my friends, let's uh, go for a ride. My wife has opted to, to drive so I can talk to you guys on camera. Hi, driver. Hello. All right, let's uh, go for this uh, little uh, mission trip reveal. And my friends, we're on this uh, mission trip, road trip that I took uh, in the middle of 2009. One of the things that uh, made me go on this missions trip was to take the chapter of 14 videos and the workbooks that I did on the Dancing Horses for Jesus to the front range of Colorado. I had a board of directors made up by five pastors that directed me to go to a missions trip. So basically, I started in Cheyenne, Wyoming, and I rented a motel room, and I called uh, probably a dozen churches to see if I could take this uh, concept to the churches, and uh, I only had one uh, pastor that chose to meet with me, and uh, he uh, looked at my video uh, on the Dancing Horses for Jesus, and he basically said if I would be willing to bring my team of horse dances to their parking lot, he could get some uh, steel bleachers and set them up for me, but that's not what Dancing Horses for Jesus missions trip was all about. So uh, we're going to be uh, touring this trip as I took it, and I'm going to be talking to you about some of those things that I had to endure and some of those things that went through my mind. So uh, we'll be uh, here in a little bit, uh, be turning the camera around and... Uh, I'll be talking to you as we're driving down the road. And as you can tell, my lovely wife is actually doing the driving. So I'm not uh, driving while I'm talking on my camera. So um, let's turn the camera around and we'll start uh, talking about this trip. Yeah, my friends, uh, here we are. We're driving actually southbound on I-25. And this is the route that I took. And uh, I tell you what, I was a little discouraged when it came to... Uh, this missions trip after uh, talking to a dozen church pastors and only one wanted me to bring my team of horse dancers. My mission was to take the workbooks and the videos to the front range of Colorado and uh, as you can tell we're heading down the road and uh, I just lost my ministry ranch. I had to move to a place in town. I did the Dancing Horses for Jesus uh, tour and uh, we toured uh, probably about a half a dozen locations and I decided to make the video of what we were doing. What year was it? I did the Dancing Horses for Jesus uh, in the uh, summer of 2009. I lost the ranch and had to move out in April of 2009 because the bank took the ranch. And so uh, the pastors that were sponsoring my ministry sent me on this missions trip in about August or September of 2009. So my uncle was a truck driver and uh, we just uh, passed the uh, Loveland, Colorado uh, exit. But he wanted me to meet him at a truck stop at Johnson's Corner Truck Stop. And that's basically where we're gonna head. And uh, we're just maneuvering this traffic. And uh, like I said, uh, my uh, wife is actually doing the driving so I can talk to you folks about this mission strip. And so basically he called me up and uh, told me to meet him at uh, Johnson's truck stop. Uh, and we're gonna see, be seeing that in a little bit. And uh, I will uh, come back on uh, camera here and we'll talk to you uh, when we get to uh, Johnson's corner truck stop here in just a little bit. Well, as you can tell my friends, uh, we're gonna be exiting off to the uh, Johnson's uh, 
corner exit. This is the 402 exit that we're taking. And as you can tell, there's a lot of construction going on up here. When I was up here in 2009, they didn't have this construction, but uh, we're doing this uh, video reminiscing uh, chapter in, uh, this is actually November 11th of 2020. So uh, we're just going to get off uh, on the uh, Loveland 402 uh, West exit. Yeah, lots of traffic. Uh, this is, and who would really want to move to Colorado in spite of a missions trip that God had sent them on through the direction of several pastors? Well, when God speaks, you listen. Yeah, when God speaks, you listen. So we're going to exit off of here. This is basically the same thing that I did when I came up here in 2009. Just uh, follow follow the road, and we're going to go across that overpass, and then we're going to go clear over there. Right. So, yeah, this is this was discouraging to come over here because I didn't know what to do. I wasn't getting pastors that would be willing to uh, um, allow me to teach this uh, workshop in their churches. Did you even know anybody over here? I didn't know anybody over here, not at all. I uh, didn't know any church pastors. I. Uh, yeah, so it was it was it was a tough situation, and uh, you know what what can what can I say about it? You know, hey, we need to uh, um, take the uh, roundabout that you're coming up there, and we're going to take this uh, um, little exit up there. You'll see where the roundabout turn is up there. No, you don't want to turn off. You want to keep going straight. Watch the traffic behind you, babe. No, keep going. All right. So uh, you see the intersection up there where the roundabout is? You're going to take that first roundabout up there. So you're going to need to get into your right lane. Crazy drivers today. Yeah, that's Colorado for you. A place I didn't really want to go. Yeah, that'd be scary to move somewhere and you don't even know anybody. But they don't know I had to move here yet, but yeah. they will here in a little bit. So yeah, I had to I had to move here. Yep, take this, take this turn. This is actually the frontage road to Johnson's Corner Truck Stop, as you oh, can I tell. See I see it. And so you can tell how uh, irritating I was irritated. when I'm, yeah, irritated when I'm doing this mission strip and I don't have church pastors that are willing to allow this ministry to go through. And if you watched uh, chapter 14 of Dancing Horses for Jesus, you realize that it was on the foundation of Christian living. And you understood that uh, Jesus is coming back on a white horse. And this is part of the mission that I wanted to do. If Jesus is faithful and true, can we actually teach other people to be faithful and true? What do you think? If, can we teach people to be faithful and true? If they're willing to learn, I mean, they got to have it in their heart and their soul first. You know? Yep. So they have if to have a willingness, believe, right? Yeah, and if they don't believe in Jesus and God, then it's kind of pointless, you know? To, I mean, you, you can try to change people, but if they don't want to, you know, change their heart and their soul, then they're lost. So basically what I did is I wanted to spend the night and then have a fresh stay on it. So you'll see we're uh, coming up to this uh, motel right here on the corner. So I stayed right there the night before I met my uncle. So what we're going to do is we're not really going to pull in there. I just wanted to show show the people. No, you don't have to. You're going to go to this stop sign and you're going to take a left-hand turn. So I actually uh, st spent the night in this uh, little place back here. And uh, then what I did is I, I pulled out the next morning and uh, stopped at this intersection and took a left-hand turn. And this is exactly what, what I did to meet my uncle. And uh, like I said, he was driving a semi. Wow. And you can see that the semis are parked here. Oh, yeah, right but what we're going to do is we're going to pull in this uh, where it says cars, RVs. And we're going to go around to the front. Exactly the same yeah. thing I did. Yeah, and there's, there's a little chapel here on the corner. You can see the cross right there. <laughs> and uh, maybe that was a sign. Let's go straight right here. Okay. And we're going to pull out front by these pumps and we're going to stop and we're going to go in and then uh, we'll talk to you a little bit more about this little adventure. So we want to just basically pull around the front here and, and find us a place to park, uh, which uh, there's a lot of uh, spots open. 
Also, this place has very good cinnamon rolls and they're big. So we are here at Johnson's Corner Truck Stop, as you can tell. So uh, we're going to go in and get us a cinnamon and roll, and I'll be talking to you folks here in a little bit. Oh, my friends, uh, we're fixing to leave Johnson's Corner Truck Stop now, and I just wanted to show you the cross in the front because maybe it has bearing in my life, you know. Maybe Johnson's Corner Truck Stop, uh, you know, the chapel, maybe that has uh, meaning in my life. Yeah, um, our our neighbor that lives down the road is actually the chapel of Johnson's Corner Truck Stop. Really? Yep. And uh, nobody coming from that way, and nobody coming from that way. We're gonna pull out, I and that was uh, like an antique no, it's chapel. actually a chapel, and he holds those chapels and Bible studies. So yeah. we're gonna turn uh, left at this stop sign here after you stop, and then uh, we're gonna go uh, back up to the 402. So we're gonna follow the. We're actually right. gonna go right. Sorry, right. sorry, I'm kind of. Turned around, no, we're, okay. we're gonna go exactly the oh. same way I went when I did this uh, yeah. missions trip. True. All right, on the road again. On the road again, and uh, at this time, uh, back in 2009, my Uncle Ray was uh, in the truck with me, and basically he says, well, why don't I buy you, uh, I guess it was breakfast at the time, and maybe we had lunch instead of breakfast, I don't remember, but uh, he told me to head out on this road and told me he was gonna take me to a little uh, um, restaurant that uh, he frequent a lot. So uh, I'll come back on here in a little bit when we get uh, to the area about where we turned at to go to uh, this little restaurant, and it has meaning. And remember, we're in Loveland, Colorado now. Loveland is basically the land of love. Um, they put those uh, red, uh, big red hearts on the uh, city streets uh, in Loveland. You'll see that uh, during the Valentine's Day season. So if you Google uh, what Loveland means and how it got its name, um, it's love and it's land. And so people that uh, want to get married, a lot of them come to Loveland because it's the land of love. And so I'm going to talk to you about that uh, here a little bit later uh, when we see this little restaurant where we went to. So I'm going to pause the camera for a minute and uh, I'll come back on uh, as we uh, get up the road here a bit. Uh, frequently restaurant. What? He said frequently restaurant. You meant to say he ate here frequently. He ate here frequently. Yeah, but he did. <laughs> he said frequently restaurant. Hey, I'm videotaping <laughs> this blooper here, my sweetheart. <laughs> I'm just telling you. So... You're not going to keep going around the circle. You're going to keep going here, but then you're going to follow these trucks. And this roundabout wasn't here uh, in 2009. Well, you're going to go straight across. See where it says... Uh, Are we taking the interstate back? Or? No, we're going to go down to 402 and go across the interstate. Oh, yeah. Okay. We'll actually go underneath it. I don't know where we're going to go, but we're not going to go to that turn. We're not going to go... See where that truck went over that overpass at? That's where we're heading at. These roundabouts, we got a lot of roundabouts here in Colorado. I hate them, they're confusing. And uh, you can tell that there's uh, traffic uh, right next to me that uh, is coming this way. So we're not going to exit, we're going to go straight through here. Okay, it, it, uh, it doesn't matter, you can go straight or turn. You can, you're, on a, you're on a little uh, arrow here that goes straight or turn. So you're not going to turn off, you're just going to get on that road and keep going straight. This is all new uh, access to this highway. They redid this uh, over this last year. And uh, yeah, there's a, there's a feed lot right there. Yeah, and uh, my wife just uh, man made a mention about our train room. We're actually doing a uh, in-scale model train layout uh, in our home where we live now. And you can check that out if you go to M&M Railways. It's a, another YouTube channel. So this is basically the path that we went, uh, my Uncle Ray and I, to take me to that little restaurant where he bought me, uh, we're gonna call it brunch, uh, the difference between lunch and breakfast. And he frequently ate there? And he frequently <laughs> ate there, what did I say? <laughs> he said earlier he ate, and then frequently, 
restaurant. He meant to say he frequently ate there. <laughs> but you'll see. Hey, I'm not a perfect guy, but I'll talk to you guys here in just a little bit. All right, my friends, uh, we're uh, on the same road that we're on. We're going to be making a turn uh, at this intersection up here. And this is where my Uncle Ray uh, asked me to turn. This is uh, the 402 in Lincoln, which we call this 287 up here in uh, Loveland, Colorado. It's really pretty today. It looks like a storm's coming. Yep. Are we supposed to get a storm? Um, we got a cold front coming through, but I don't know about snow. show them the new developments because back then it wasn't In which there. direction are we going north east south or west i think we're going north yep that's true look at the uh car on top of that roof over there i wonder if they uh have problems uh, with the weight structure of that car yeah that's pretty cool they probably took the engine out to help yep they had to get rid of some of the weight but they added a new theater since you've been over here like way back when yeah, they uh, did a whole bunch of uh, new construction on this uh, corner up here. Oh, in a hotel, right? Yeah, new hotel, new uh, um, theater, see, and uh, you'll here. you'll see that as we as we turn up here. And basically, this is the route that I took. See the heart right there on the corner, my friends. There's a reason why I'm showing you all of this. We'll talk about that here in a little bit in this video. I stayed right where you're going at because that's what my uncle told me to do. Right. We are in downtown Yep. We are approaching west first off of 287. There's the new stuff on the left. All of this, uh, these high right building, that's uh, actually uh, a hotel right there. It says Town Plaza Suites. There's and there's a, a parking garage for all this uh, structure up here. Construction, construction. There's, there's a theater. It says Metro. Lund. And that's a uh, that's a new theater that's here in uh, Loveland. I'll have to try it sometime. So when you come around this corner up here by this light, we're just going to keep going straight, and eventually you're going to get into your um, left lane. But you see right there on the corner. Stop here, babe. Stop here. Not too late now. See your Heartland Cafe there, my friends. Oh. We stopped there and uh, we had uh, we had lunch there. No, I want you to get in the left lane, please, and then we're gonna go up to where we went. And while you're uh, waiting for these signal lights, I'm gonna um, reverse the camera here and I'm gonna talk to uh, my friends a little bit and tell them uh, kind of what was going on. All right, my friends, as we're waiting for the lights here, uh, basically uh, what went on inside the Heartland Cafe is my uncle and I, we went in there and he grabbed a uh, a newspaper um, article, a newspaper, a little trivia, whatever they, whatever the little papers are, and um, he handed me the comic section, and uh, I'm just stressed out. I'm discouraged at this time because I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm dealing with a disability. I'm dealing with the loss of a ministry ranch, and honestly, I'm angry at God at this time. Well, my uncle, he gets this newspaper out, and um, in a little bit of time after he reads it, he circles an ad uh, on this uh, newspaper that he's looking at, and somebody is looking for somebody to rent a room in a basement, and this place has room for horses. That's what the ad said. So he says, why don't we call this number in the paper and let's go look at this? So that's what we did, my friends. Um, he went with me, and the very same day that I went to Heartland Cafe, my uncle and I, we go tour this place. So I'm going to turn the uh, camera around, and I'm basically going to share with you the route that we took to go see this place. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. Let me turn the camera around. Just wanted to share with you all that we do have a, a homeless people here in Loveland, and and let me zoom in on uh, this this man's sign here. He put it down because he knew I was filming him. And uh, but anyway, we get that uh, in the neighborhood. But that that sign basically said, uh, "God bless you. Anything helps." And yeah, but he, uh, looked, um, he looked kind of suspicious when he when you started filming him. 
Yeah, but uh, you just never know. And, uh, you know, we, we got to bless the homeless people. But how many people are actually doing that that, uh, that, are, are, that are not homeless? You know, there's people that are truly homeless. But then there's people that are doing a good job. And, uh, you know, but that's part of Loveland. And I didn't have this in Scottsbluff, Nebraska, where I had the ministry ranch at. And if I did know homeless people, you know what? I'd probably put them up and I would give them a room to rent. And uh, we're going to go by um, Loveland Lake here. And you're going to see a big old heart on the corner here. And this street here, you see the center part of this uh, boulevard here. That's where they put the big old red hearts up on the, uh, the intersection at. And... Uh, down the center part of this, they had those big old red hearts, and you're seeing a heart that we come around the corner here. You're, you're seeing this uh, heart. So the land of love has a lot to do with the heart. Otherwise, we wouldn't have things like this around Loveland. So I'm showing you a, 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 two, a view of the uh, mountains that we see, and Again, we had the Wildcat Hills and the Scottsbluff National Monument uh, back there in uh, um, Scottsbluff Valley, but nothing like this. I read uh, an article that there is actually uh, um, about 14 lakes around Loveland area. Have you, um, before this, did you ever come to Colorado? I uh, came over here uh, a couple of times in... Uh, to go to the Sundance uh, Steakhouse Saloon over there with uh, some friends. And one thing that uh, I kind of had a deja vu, and uh, um, way back in 1992, um, 93, 94, I was with uh, a wife that I was married to at the time, and we came over to Colorado, and we went uh, down Fort Collins up the Pewter Valley Canyon up there, and I kind of had a deja vu thinking that uh, I would be eventually coming to Colorado. And if it just felt like that I had been here before, clear back in 1992 or 93 or 94, in those areas that we came on vacations up here. And I just had this feeling that I would be seeing this area again. And there was something familiar about it. So we just passed the Taft and we're on 34. And uh, you're seeing uh, some of the neighborhood where uh, I used to live. I used to live uh, in a uh, apartment uh, after I moved from the house that I'm about to show you. But uh, I lived uh, down uh, that street right there. It came to Bamboo Express a lot. Uh, Subway store here. And there's uh, McDonald's. We came up over here a lot. So... You're going to want to get into the, the left lane. You're going to be turning at the next intersection down there. So uh, this is uh, basically um, the way that my uncle took me to go look at this house. So uh, I'll pause the, the video here for a moment until we make our turn. Did you want something to say? You have something to say? Just hearts everywhere. <laughs> yep, yep, hearts everywhere, the land of love. And here's a, a Perkins restaurant. But anyway, just so I don't make this video uh, really long, I'm going to pause the video here until we get around the corner to uh, what I want to show you next. All right, my friends, I wanted to start the camera here because it shows um, a beautiful area, and you're seeing the, the mountain area right there. And uh, we're coming up to a little creek here. It's a pretty cool creek. You call it a creek? I call it a creek, and that's why we're going to look down in there. This uh, bridge here is, is kind of new, but that, that looks like uh, um, a little creek to me. That could be a river. Who knows? Who knows what it looks like? But uh, we're on uh, Wilson. We're heading south, and we're coming up to West 1st Street here. And uh, I really enjoy the, the view of the mountains. Let me uh, kind of uh, zoom in so like you guys can see the mountains in the video. I know that there's people around the world that watch my videos and uh, it's nice to be able to see where somebody is from. Well now I'm going to come back in uh, here. We're going to turn left at this intersection and uh, we're coming around the corner and we're going to see a church. This church has significance in it. I, I held uh, 
um, ministry uh, classes here, and I was uh, and still am a Word of God mentor, and I can help people through the Word of God to to uh, deal with things in their life. But this place over here is what I want to show you. Getting this lane over here, um, yeah, but you're gonna just go back out. So basically, this is where we moved, and my horses were right there on the other side of this fence. Now just keep going straight, babe. And uh, that's that's where we lived, and that's where I came. And uh, so let me uh, look back at uh, me, friends, and we'll finish out this video. All right, my friends, that's uh, probably it on this uh, missions trip that I went on. And like I said, I was real discouraged. When I got over here, uh, I basically had to move my horses over here, and uh, I had Circle Krell, and I had a horse trailer, and uh, you you will see that. Uh, I guess you won't see that. I never had a video or any pictures of that horse trailer, but it was a ministry horse trailer, and uh, you might see a little bit of that in the last chapter 14 that I did. I have pictures. Uh, I actually have videos of the dancing horses for Jesus, and so that's what oh, yeah, we, you should. yeah, that's what we, you and I worked on, uh, dancing horses for Jesus in the last chapter, where I uh, brought the video to the living room and we worked, uh, looked at the workbook and we watched the video. Yeah. And so basically, I wanted to share with people that was my mission and that was my purpose was to uh, basically bring that workbook study and the video to. Uh, the front range of Colorado and I went to several churches after I moved over here and showed them what I was doing and uh, sorry that the the sun's kind of uh, blocking me my friends but I don't have uh, my studio here where I'm seeing the light but no I'm not I don't want to put it down I'm in a shadow so basically my friends I went to the cowboy churches and uh, there's two cowboy churches basically. Uh, there's one up in Lucerne and then there's one out on 34. So I basically took the uh, Dancing Horses for Jesus workbook in the video and I gave it to those churches there. And uh, I went back a couple years later and they were actually doing a Sunday school class using my workbook and my Dancing Horses for Jesus video. So my missions trip had its purpose but my mission originally was to uh, bring my workbooks and my videos to the front range of Colorado. And as you know, I have uh, Heart to Heart Refinement Ministries now. And that's a website that holds all the information. But you know, I also have a, uh, uh, an online school that is now on YouTube. And I'll put a link in the descriptions below. But you can see uh, that uh, card up there that will help you to understand um, what I'm doing with my workbooks and my videos in the front range of Colorado. And uh, I believe that uh, in the next video, you're going to be seeing me uh, doing a puppeteer video. And uh, I already did the video, but we'll be watching that in the living room too as well. Uh, spirit, but I don't want to do videos because my voice won't allow me to do that anymore. Know, but we, can introduce but, uh, we we will introduce the puppets. I will bring them out of their suitcase and uh, I will introduce each one of them to you and uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of talking. But my friends, that's coming up in the next video. You don't want to miss that. Uh, chapter uh, 15, we'll talk about me being uh, an evangelist, ventriloquist puppeteer. That's coming up next. Until then, my friends, may God bless you. May his face shine upon you, and may Jesus always bring you joy.